In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start mining Monero from your computer. This is gonna be one of the easiest and fastest way to do that. You can do this from your own device and no laptop and it doesn't really require like a lot of steps. You can just leave it running. I'm gonna be honest with you, you're not gonna get rich doing this, but it works and you can mine some Monero. It's gonna take a while for you to cash out what you get. But as I said, it works and that's what we need, right? Currently running like five machines. I have like four computers back there and you can see there's like one of them. Uh, my main computer and when I don't use them, I just leave them running and mining Monero. It's been pretty good. It's pretty easy, honestly. Let's start. The first thing you gotta do is uh, go to Google and we're gonna go to Monero Ocean. This is the software that we're gonna use. Here in Monero Ocean, you gotta go here and you're gonna click help. This is gonna have the step by step or about how to start how to start mining Monero. So first we're gonna need a Monero wallet. We're gonna go here and then Monero GUI wallet. And in my case, I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm gonna use Windows 64 installer. So it's gonna install that, it takes a couple seconds. Uh, sometimes it flags the downloads as uh, malware. Uh, it's fine, it's just like for security. Uh, it's up to you if you want to run it or not. Personally, I don't care and I'll run it just because uh, I wanna do it and I'm running this in a virtual machine so I don't get my computer infected, if you understand. Uh, there's a video in my profile about how to create a virtual machine. So once we have that, let's execute it. Uh, let's go to downloads. This is a little slow, as I said, it's a virtual machine. So it's like sharing resources with my main device. So it takes a little longer. Double click to execute. I'm gonna click yes. Next, accept because we have no option. Next, yes. Next, oh, I open two of them. Yes, exit. So it's gonna create its own file directory. Next, next. Next, default is fine. Next, install. So this is gonna create your wallet. Uh, it's gonna give you a wallet address. Uh, the security key, we'll need to save that. I already have my wallet and my security key. So I'm just doing this to show you guys how to do it. Finish. So once it's done, uh, we go to our desktop. It says GUI wallet. Let's open that. Remember, this is a step by step. It says first install wallet and create address. That's what we are doing right now. We can minimize this. It's currently opening. Um, Here it is. Okay. I just have to be a little patient because, you know, it's a virtual machine and it's slower, but it's safer. And I'm, I already have this, so I don't want to mess it up in my own computer. Let's just keep one open. So once you open Monero, you're going to get this screen. We're going to click continue. And I usually do like the advanced just because I like to customize my stuff and features, but you can use the, the first option. So we're gonna click create new wallet because that's what we need. We need our own wallet, unless you already have one. If you already have one, that's fine. You can skip this part, uh, but if not, just follow along the way. So wallet name, we're gonna call it test. And it's gonna, uh, be saved in this directory that's fine next these are the keys 
All right, I'm gonna show you the keys. I'm not actually gonna create this wallet. So these are not gonna work, but this is very important because this is like your password. If you lose this, you won't be able to open your wallet. So if you start mining Monero and then uh, we add the wallet to the mining pool and then you get your Monero deposit to your wallet and you want to open your wallet, it's gonna ask for this. And if you don't have this, mm, I'm sorry, but you're fucked because you won't be able to open your wallet. You need this. So take a picture, copy that, write it in your notebook. Just make sure you don't lose it, okay? So we're gonna click next. Oh, actually, uh, let me take a picture because it's gonna ask me to verify that so picture. So we're gonna click next. And then as you see, we need to verify that. So, uh, that's why I said you gotta have this somewhere and just don't leave it in your pictures just because I'm pretty sure you did it you delete that you're like oh what is this and then you delete it like I did once so once we verify that we have saved our recovery phrase phrase we click next uh, we're gonna pick a random password so um, okay right so password match next and then i actually just leave this as default next and then if you click create wallet it's gonna create your wallet so let's do that and then it's gonna ask for your password Okay. So it's gonna open your wallet. So I just use custom settings. If you go to your account, and then this is gonna be your wallet address. So we copy this, copy address to clipboard, open notepad. that's your address okay so make sure you save this okay because this is where we're gonna deposit our monero so once we have that let's go back we're gonna install the mining software um i use this one okay just because the algorithm switches automatically uh depending on like what is happening right now so you get like better profit as i said you're not gonna be rich but it's better so i use this one so we're gonna click that and since i'm using a windows device i'm gonna pick windows these are like different operating systems but in this case we're gonna choose windows so the download is being blocked by google so we're just gonna go to downloads and then no protection this is in spanish but it's like the third one you go to like configuration and then privacy and security and then security and then you pick this one like no protection otherwise your download is gonna be blocked by google and you won't be able to do that so we're gonna download again windows and if you see voila there we have it so let's open that in our main folder right click extract it yeah we want to extract it here good so once we extract the folder i'm gonna move it to the desktop so we don't mess it up once you extract the folder we're gonna open that we're gonna find three files okay this is the configuration json file this is where we're gonna enter our wallet and do a couple changes and this is the actual miner so before we start the miner we're gonna go to the configuration file so we're gonna do right click and we're gonna open with notepad just once 
Okay. So if you remember, I asked you to save your wallet address. So we're gonna copy this, copy. And then here we're gonna do control F and type wallet. So you see here it says your wallet address. Okay. In here we're gonna delete this and we're gonna paste our wallet address. In this case, this is my wallet address, right? And then here it says pass. The X is gonna be the name of your miner. So if I leave X, once I go back to Monero Ocean and check the miners, it's gonna show us X. I'm gonna call you um, subscribe, subscribe for more. By the way, go ahead and subscribe for more. Um, and then that's it. This is gonna be the port that we're gonna be using. There are like a couple suggestions here. So you have an old CPU or GPU, you can use this port. Um, I have like a modern CPU, GPU and decent RAM. So I'm just keeping the same port. It depends on your device specification. So we're gonna keep it that way, 10, 12, 8. That's what I have right now, 10, 12, 8. Uh, change the name of my miner, added my wallet address. We're gonna go and hit Control S, save, or just file and save. Good. So once we do that, as I said, we made a configuration, we added our wallet. Once we do that, we are good to store mining. So as I say, store mining, so it's really 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 easy like just go to the the folder we extracted remember this is the configuration file that we just saved uh let's open notepad again this is the configuration file that we just saved we changed the the monero address the wallet the port we kept the port we changed the name of our miner so once we have that and we save it we just up in uh, the miner to start mining uh, sometimes windows flags this but in this case i think it's working so let's see first it's gonna draw some benchmark to make sure that our device can like mine monero what is the best algorithm what are like the best settings so it takes a while i'm just gonna leave it running I'm gonna speed up the video and come back later. So as you see guys, uh, it went through a bunch of benchmarks. Those are like tests to know what algorithm is better. And then finally it says new job from golf.monerocean.stream colon 10 12 8 that's the port we're using if you remember so let's see it usually shows like this oh, let me show you it's running in my virtual machine right now but it usually shows like this Here's the miner. So this is how it looks. Once you initiate it, it takes a while, just like a few seconds, a couple minutes. So what I did is that I just went to the folder that we created and you just double click x and rig that's our miner just double click it opens automatically so it starts like checking the port the pool so if you see this is the pool and i'll show you how it looks so this is my main computer so if we go to monero Ocean and then in here you type your actual like wallet it's gonna show you all the workers you have 
So right now I have four workers. Those are like the four laptops that I have right there. Um, I just started like the other worker that is uh, this one. That's my main PC. Uh, it's probably very slow because I'm running my virtual machine. I'm running the other miner and I'm running uh, the screen recording. So it's probably very slow. My computer is just like a normal computer. I don't have something fancy. But uh, once you're done, this is how it will look. So if you go to Moero Ocean that stream and you paste your wallet here, I'll show you how it looks. Let me see. So once you go there, let's open like an incognito window and I'll show you. This guy looks right. How do you paste your wallet? It's gonna load and it's gonna show all the miners you have. Here's your hash rate. For example, right now my hash rate is 2.68. So we can change it here and see how much are we gonna get per day, 2.68. I'm gonna get seven cents per day, right? A year is gonna be $25. You know, that's better than nothing. And what if Monero goes up? What if, I don't know, luckily Monero goes up to $90,000 like Bitcoin. Um, that's like good money, right? As I said, I'm not gonna be rich overnight, but you gotta wait for the best. So, um, let's paste my wallet again. Cause I like opening the window and just checking that automatically. So here it is. And then this is how it looks when it's, once it's mining. Uh, this is my miner from my computer. I'm gonna close it. This is the miner from the virtual machine. Uh, this is how it looks. So once you get paid, uh, like your Monero, you can go here, set up, like when you want to get paid. So the threshold, the minimum is 0 0.003 Monero. That's what I have right now. So once uh, I get 0 0.003 Monero, uh, that's gonna be automatically paid to my wallet right now nothing has been paid to me because i started just like a couple days ago this is what i have right now this is what i've mined with my five computers um uh, it's not a lot but it's something it's like a good project you wanna get into like mining or like cryptocurrency it's a good thing to know it's pretty fun and once you set it up, you just leave it running whenever you're not using your computer. As I said, sometimes, like usually my hash rate is like four. So I'm usually gonna get like, I don't know, 37, depending on the Monero price, $37 a year. Or if Monero goes up, I don't know, it could be 300. You never know, but it's a good project to know and to do. So that's all for for now guys uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments let me know what other things would you like to to see uh, just subscribe because I'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos like this fun stuff hacking stuff uh, cryptocurrency like it's gonna be fun guys so thanks for watching and see you next video